All right, so we are back in Carrier Command. It has been a little while since I've played this one, actually, because the last episode that I did, I mentioned that there were some balance issues in the game, and a lot of people in the community have been complaining about that, but luckily the developers have sorted it out, so I'm all good to continue with this one. Also, hopefully the audio quality will be much better in this episode. You can give some feedback on that if you are watching this. But uh, the issue that I've had on a number of videos that I uploaded recently that some people have complained about has been sorted out as well. Now I just need to have a look here at what we were doing last time uh, just to sort of get an idea. So, okay, we do have some seals coming back in it seems. And uh, yeah, it has been, like I said, it has been a couple of weeks. I haven't played it at all since then. So. If you've just come from the previous episode, I'm just going to need to have a look at where we are here. So, right, we have just captured this island, which gives us the aerial chassis production capability as well. Uh, is there anything that we're still missing? We can build munitions, large and small fuel. We've got the amphibious chassis as well. Um, I guess we don't have one of these yet. Uh, we don't have an additional barge, which I'm not sure to what extent we need that. The other thing that we need is this. So it's really a question of, should I get another barge right now? Or do I need to get, uh, I, I can't remember actually what those are called. Let's have a quick look. So this is air chassis. This is barge. This is utility. So this will give us a couple of utility items and I guess at some point we will need that capability as well um, I have forgotten now how we see exactly what these are but having another turret island may not be a bad idea because at least that will give us access to some things that we don't have right now what are we producing here Let's just see okay oh we've got the razor ball coming uh, and we've got a couple of these, which I haven't built before, the petrol. Um, Alright, so... And the barge is going to stop by the warehouse to bring us some more supplies. Um, I think we should take this next turret island. How is the AI ship getting on? Like, are they getting close? No, there's still, there's still a long way to go here. There could still be quite a few episodes in this before we, we actually have an encounter with the AI. Um, but just so you know, if you didn't watch the last episode, the issue that a lot of people were having is once you start getting to the three shield islands, and we will probably, you know, head to one of those in at least, you know, one of the upcoming episodes quite soon. Although I see there's still a lot of, of two shield and one shield islands here. Those three shield islands, the problem was that you got these swordfish ships that were just a little bit too fast and the torpedoes weren't strong enough and that just made it incredibly difficult to take them down to the extent that it just really wasn't worth taking those islands like you'd spend so much resources that it doesn't it doesn't make strategic sense to go and take them um, there were ways around it but really nothing that made sense in terms of bumping it up from two shield to three shield it was a disproportionate increase in difficulty is the best way i can describe it um, but yeah i think that I know this is not going to be the most exciting if I go for this island, but strategically that's the one that makes the most sense right now. It's close. Uh, it'll get us some more resources. Come to think of it, I don't know if you get more resources for two shield islands than three shield islands. Maybe that's something that we need to try and figure out here. So, island control. This is... There doesn't seem to be any indication that some islands are giving us more than others in terms of the credits. And because we do have one and two shield islands, so there should be some variance in terms of the credits that we're getting. And that means that strategically, it only makes sense to go and take higher shield islands if, well, you kind of have to. So... I don't know if that's the case. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. Uh, it would be interesting to know. Okay, so it seems like we've got all the vehicles back on board, so we should just go and head towards this island then. Um, is this off? Okay. Uh, still, 
need to get back into this now. Uh, like I said, I haven't touched the game uh, since I recorded. I think it was episode six, and that was a that was a little while ago. Um, so this must be the island where I'm close to now. Why are we slow? Is it because of all the weapon systems being online? Um, that's radar and that's weapons. Switch that off. Yeah, that makes a huge difference to the speed. Ooh, I might get into trouble here. Um, no, okay. Something's wrong. I need to stop. I am close to very shallow waters. And... As I've said before, I'm treating this as Iron Man. So if I take out, if I take myself out, that's it. Uh, the series ends. I can always do another one, but um, I just feel it's a little bit more interesting if the stakes are higher. I'm getting incredibly close here. I'm surprised though because I can't see the land that it's picking up. I mean, I can see it shallow over there, but um, I'm gonna keep going forward. And hopefully we're not going to get beached here. Okay, now it's looking okay. Like we're going to clear it. But I'm still seeing... This looks different to what I'm used to seeing. Oh no. This is... This is bad. I think we may be beached. I just don't understand why it's picking it up all the way around us. Um, let's... Uh, Let's just step out here. This is a this is a silly problem to have, but it is a real one. Yeah, so it does seem like that could be a sandbank or something over there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is not part of the water. We have a problem here. I'm going to try to push through because I don't see any way out of this, any other way out of this at least right now. So we're going to keep going and hope for the best. Have I caused damage? Yes, I've caused massive damage. And I don't think that was from the previous episode, but we'll fix that. This, uh, I don't know, this looks different to what it did before. Um, I could be missing something here, but uh, we just want to kind of steer clear of this island. Let's get the repairs going. still don't like that every time you access a screen, you basically sit down on the chair and you then have to hit escape twice to get out of it. I, I still hope that the developers change that. There's, that just feels a bit unnecessary. Doesn't serve any real purpose. Um, okay, that's done. We'll repair this. Okay. Right, so I think we are clear. We're getting into the deeper waters here. And we're going to start turning towards the next island. I haven't sent up my recon plane just yet. Maybe I don't need to do that. Or actually, no, I, I will do it. That is the best way to approach islands. So let's uh, have a look here. We want to send up... That one has the bombs. This has extra fuel. So we're going to send this one out. There. To about 1,300 like we usually do. And just send it round in circles. Okay. So I've mentioned this a couple of times before. Usually I don't like to be on the go while these planes are taking off. So once I see it coming up on the elevator, I, I might just stop to give it a chance to take off. And then we'll probably send in... Let's just see what we have here. Got the Razor Bull, this one. We'll send in one of the, the Razor Bulls with the guns again. Let's see where we are. Still waiting for that to come up. All right, so let's stop. 
I'm really, I'm going to try to get sort of to the top of this wave because I don't want this to fly directly into the wave and we'll stop it here. And hopefully this will be safe to take off then. It looks okay from where I'm standing. Yeah, that's all good. So we keep on moving in towards this island. I still love this game though. I, I think it's fantastic. I, um, especially now that they've made the updates, I mean, I haven't actually checked if it works yet, but you know, I'm sure the developers would have tested it and we'll see how it goes as soon as we start encountering those swordfish ships. But, um, it is really good. And this is definitely not, I mean, this isn't something that's an alpha, right? Like this is properly beta, early access game. It feels pretty feature complete in a lot of ways. Um, the developers are just, you know, adding more things and, and sorting out small issues, but it is completely playable. If you, if you do watch the channel regularly and you've watched my videos on astronauts, I'm thinking about doing an update video on that as well because there's been quite a lot of development there. Um, so do watch out for that in, in the coming weeks. Uh, as soon as I get a chance, I'll get back into that and just show off some of the new features. Um, it's another one that I'm, I'm quite excited about and I'll sort of be following the development throughout. Um, okay, let's see how close we're getting here. Probably close enough. Uh, I, I'll go in a little bit deeper still. How are we doing on supplies? Anything that's running low? This all still looks fine. Souls, um, turrets, auto cannons. We're mostly okay. We will need to stock up a bit once we eventually go to fight against the enemy carrier, but. Yeah, we're still, I think we're still a ways off from, from doing that. Probably don't want to go in too much closer. Let's look at the distance here. Let's put this on tracking and manual. All right. So we're about five kilometers out. I think that's fine. We can see a lot of enemies over there. They're all stacked up towards this one side of the island. Slow this down all the way and get the weapon systems back on. I could try and take them out of the ship's cannon, but I think right now it's probably cheaper to just use the razor bills. So we're going to send one of these up just over here. And then we'll start tagging targets at the same time. So put it into manual. No, wait, that's manual control of the vehicle. I'm having to just briefly refamiliarize myself with all of the controls. So that's us. Let's do the stabilization tracking. As I've always said, it is a little bit easier to do this. Why is it not tagging anything? Are we too far out here? It doesn't feel like it though. Anyway, um, as I always say, it's easier to do this at night because uh, they give away their positions with the lights. I don't understand why it's not busy tagging enemies. Usually that happens when you're not close enough, but I don't feel like I created such a broad Am I really that far away? Let's see if I can if I can fix this. Maybe it is a little bit far away. So we do this. No, actually more like this. This should fix the problem. Oh, but I, did I put this at 400? We don't want that. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this actually. Go over here at 1300.
How do I delete waypoints? Why is it not letting me do that? Let's fly over here. Back up to 1,300 and then we'll just do this. Now because I already have the Razor Bull up here, I'm just going to go straight to this and we'll see what we can just immediately spot. Um, so guns on manual and vehicle control on manual. I'm having to get a feel for all of this again um, just because like I said, it's been a while. Okay, it doesn't help that I don't have anything tagged over here, and I do think that's where I'm meant to be. The ship should be over there, yes. Okay, so that's my reference point. So we'll fly over to this side. Maybe it is a good thing that it is... Wait a second, is that a ship? That looks like it could be a ship. Which could be a problem for us. We may need to take care of that first. Or is that a different part of the island? Yeah, that doesn't seem to be water. Let's head over there. So I need to reduce altitude here a little bit. Wait, why are the guns not active? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, they are taking shots. We'll make another pass at them. Flying helicopters in this game is not... It does take a, a bit of skill. Like, there's, there's some nuance to it. Like, controlling your angle and throttle. Can I get this guy in the water? I'm wasting a lot of ammo on this one. Okay. How much do I still have left? 250 out of 400. Yeah, so we can still do quite a bit of damage with this one. What's going to be easier here, going for the ones on the beach or the ones on the cliff over here? I think these guys are a bit closer, so we'll go for them first. Reduce the power again. There we go. Definitely easier to get them on land, especially once they stop. I'm going to get very close to the trees here, need to increase the power. No, oh, I've taken quite a few hits. I need to be careful here. Getting very close to all of these enemies. Let's see if we can get this guy on the way back. There we go. There's a lot of enemies in here. Man, they'd be perfect for a cruise missile. This one as well. Still have a hundred rounds, so I think I do want to come back one last round. I need to be careful about being stationary. That'll definitely make me an easy target. Forty rounds left. Okay. That's about it, the ammo that we have. I think we can bring this one back. So we'll put this back into auto. And we'll send out another one. Although I shouldn't just leave this here. This needs to come straight back. And then we can get back into the albatross. Use the camera is already in tracking mode, so we can just go into manual. Yeah, so that was the issue. Sometimes when the zoom is incorrect on the map, it's just difficult to gauge how close you're actually sending it to the island. 
Um, there's another one. We've basically taken, taken out everything. So much so that I think we can start sending in the ground units. This, uh, unless I'm mistaken, I think that's everything. I just need to do the check here for turrets, but I don't think on a one shield island that's usually not a problem. So not too worried about that. Um, not seeing anything else. So we are going to send out the ground units then. And let's see, which ones do we have? That was the anti-air one that I created, so we don't need that. We probably want to send out one of these slightly bigger units. Or no, they're all the same. So we'll send out three of these. This one. And this one. That's not really necessary, but it's just kind of to play it safe in case I, I miss something. And then right behind them we'll have the one with the, the virus bots. Then we can get back into this razor bowl and go and clean up the other ones that we haven't taken out yet. So onto manual for these, back into the auto cannons. Let's fly in. At least now I've painted the target, so that'll make it a little bit easier. But yeah, it is nighttime anyway, so even if you haven't painted them, it's pretty clear where they are. Plus they start lighting themselves up the moment you get close because they start firing at you. The naval combat is interesting as well with the torpedoes. I am really glad they have fixed that because um, not being able to use torpedoes kind of makes it a lot less interesting because it limits your options, whereas now again, uh, it's not so bad. It was actually, I checked and the swordfish ships were so fast that they could uh, outrun cruise missiles, or not outrun, but they were pretty close to the speed of cruise missiles. And of course in the game, you know, I'm sure cruise missiles aren't as fast as they are in real life. I think in real life they are faster than the speed of sound, and it's a bit ridiculous that a ship would travel at that speed. But um, anyway, okay, those are the last two. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay, what I want to do now, uh, so we'll, we'll get back out of this one and send it back to the ship as well. Um, I was just thinking it would be useful, these new aircraft that we're producing have the ability to lift units and I've never used that, so I definitely want to get them soon. So this one's doing a pickup over there, but I would like it to do a pickup from the air chassis production as well. So there's two Razor Bulls and two of these patrol, uh, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. So we want to order these. And we've already put in the order for the Razor Bulls. Oh, we've already put it in for both, but we haven't told the barge that it needs to go and pick them up. So... It's going to go straight there, but I don't want it to. I want it to get the turrets and then... Okay, so waypoints. You are going to go over here. That's still correct. But then you need to go over here and then over here. That should work. Um, not sure if it's going to reach us before we move on to the next island. And uh, I don't actually know which island we should take next. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments below. Um, because now we're... Oh, but do we have this air chassis yet? I don't think so. This would be useful. So we have... One second. We cannot produce the Manta. In fact, we can't even produce the Albatross, but it would be really useful to have the Manta. That's like the fast, big aircraft that can carry the AWACS as well. So yeah, that'll be good. Let's see how these are going, getting on. Uh, we probably want to move in closer to the island so these don't have such a long way to travel back. 
In fact, it is almost completely pointless to have all of these other seals coming out now because it, it seems pretty clear to me that there's nothing else that will bring this albatross back in. Um, seal with the virus bots needs to go straight over here. And we'll switch off the weapon systems just to give us a bit more speed and then try to move in a bit closer. I just need to keep an eye on the pattern for when that albatross comes in. I don't want to lose that one. And I don't think I have extra fuel tanks for that either. And then we also just need to make sure that we don't get so close. So you can see our ground units there. The little, little lights in the water. Uh, we just want to make sure we don't get so close that we end up nearly beaching the carrier again. I mean, I say nearly, but I pretty much did do that before. Okay, this has just entered the pattern, the albatross, uh, but it's still making its way around. I think we can get close to the island before. Um, yeah, well, we've actually just overtaken these amphibious vehicles. Uh, where is it on the pattern? It's still making its way around, but it is getting close. I think uh, we'll park it off here. Just maintain the heading. So this is what I'm looking at. Just checking where it is in the pattern. Once it starts getting close to this run up to the to the carrier, uh, I prefer to make it easy for it to set it down. It's still got 50% of its fuel. We could have left it out there, but um, we do need to bring it out eventually. So it would have made more sense for me to release these units after I did this. I mean, it amounts to more or less the same thing since they're nearly by the carrier anyway. Gonna have a look at the carrier, uh, the albatross coming in here. The One Shield Islands feel pretty trivial right now um, once you get used to the game. But I mean, it's all, like I said, it's all about the strategy as well. Like, what do you want to spend time on getting? And I think the biggest benefit for me right now is just taking more islands in general. It's not that I'm missing anything specific that I need. Or, I, I mean, I'm probably missing a couple of things that I need. But I also just need to have more credits to build stuff. So... Okay, so that's all safe. And then we're just going to move in as close as we can get. Which I'm assuming is not much closer than I am right now. And let's, let's turn in a little bit more towards the island. That's the beach, and that's probably the route that they're going to take back towards the ship once we're done. And I just want to sort of park it off with its side towards that, because the ground units actually have to board in the rear of the carrier. This is, this is pretty good. This is about as close as we're going to get, without risking beaching it here. Perfect. So we'll just leave it here. Let's see how close it's actually getting. Okay, I'm going to put a cut in here for when it actually gets there. Right, so we're approaching the base here and just need to go and drop the virus bots. As always, I like to just drop them right next to the base. You can drop them further away and they'll make their way over there, but it takes longer, so there's really no point. Um, so we'll just go straight up here and put them down here. Why are they not triggering? There we go. You have to select one of the weapons for it to, to actually trigger and then we can just send this back to the ship again. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Then the other thing is that we do have this barge getting pretty close now, so it is busy uploading the chassis. How much weight does this put on it? it must be a fair amount. So it was like from 43% to 50 for the first one, 
up to 58 for the next one. It's about 8% per chassis. Uh, those are for the first ones, the Razor Bulls, I believe. This one is 10%, so that's the, the bigger one. That makes sense. I mean, these are aircraft that we're putting onto it, so that should take a fair amount of its weight capacity, and then it should start making its way. So I think before the barge will arrive here more or less the same time as our our last ground unit will make it back on. You sort of see the ground units coming there in the distance. Let's get into the camera control here again. Oh, that's a nice view of the carrier that we don't usually see. Might end up using this in the thumbnail, we'll see. Uh, too bad this doesn't have another camera on it, so it doesn't have something similar to the gimbal or one of those cameras that you can actually swivel around. But uh, this is not a view of the carrier that I usually see. Okay, so I may have been wrong. I don't think the barge is going to make it over here before... Do we have damage on this? No, we don't. I don't think the barge is going to make it over here before we get to... Uh, before we get that unit back on. Uh, we haven't looked at what we have here yet. So 120 millimeter artillery cannon, the 20 millimeter auto cannon. That's super useful because these are the ones that we're actually using on the razor bills right now. And we do want a few more. And then there's the heavy cannon. But uh, so far, the auto cannons are the most important ones for us. So we're going to start producing these. Let's see how much they cost. 200? That's pretty cheap. We could build like 10 of these. I mean, we probably don't need that many. We're going to do it anyway. That should probably sort us out for the rest of the game. And then we'll just go ahead and put in an order for that as well. So, auto cannons. Why do I have an order for five? Because it's not in transit. No idea. May have been something that I did in an earlier episode and I forgot about it, but we certainly don't have any in storage, so they wouldn't have been there for the barge to pick up. I uh, see we're up to 61% in terms of the carrier's capacity, so we are starting to get towards the upper limit of that slowly, inching towards it. Uh, all the surface vehicles are back. So I don't think there's anything else left to do in this episode. So I'm going to end this one here. I'll probably just wait for the barge to make its way back over here. And then in the next episode, we will look at these new air units and uh, start getting them ready before we take the next island. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you do like this content, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video.